Hello, Leo, and welcome to Intuitive Art Mediums. Thank you for joining me for the Gemini season Astro Tarot reading, where we're looking at what you need to know now about these shifting energies during Gemini season. So we have the sun entering Gemini on Friday, May 20th, and it's there until the sun enters Cancer on Tuesday, June 21st, welcoming in the summer solstice. And that'll occur at 5.14 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. So this reading is going to encompass between those two times. So we have on Monday, May 30th, the new moon in Gemini, which is a great time for setting new intentions. And then on Tuesday, May 31st, we have Mars entering Aries, its ruling sign. This is a big shift of positive energy. This is wonderful. It's going to fill you with confidence and motivation because Aries is about the self and Mars is about confidence and motivation. And Mars is happy in its own sign. And then on Friday, June 3rd, we have Mercury stationing direct but it doesn't leave its storm until Saturday, June 11th, and that's when Mercury is going to conjunct with Uranus and Taurus. This has something to do with how we communicate about business, and there's a shift here, there's a change, because Uranus is been shaking things up in Taurus for a while now, changing the way that we show up in the world, changing the way that we make money, changing the way we do our work adapting to the changes in the world. So let's get into the energy oracle cards and start revealing some of the energies that are affecting you at this time, Leo. Okay, so we have, let me start off with number 39, the fifth chakra, Archangel Gabriel. This is beautiful. Gabriel is strongly influenced by the moon. And if you want to communicate with Gabriel, I would recommend lighting a blue candle facing the west on either a new moon or full moon or a Monday, which is moon day. Okay, the throat chakra, of course, has to do with communication and Gemini rules the house of communication. Okay, we have on Wednesday, June 8th, a grand trine with the earth signs. We have a Virgo moon trining Pluto retrograde in Capricorn, trining Mercury in Taurus. This is giving us a large dose of lucky vibes. Now, the thing with the trines is that they can make us feel very comfortable and we fail to act on those opportunities when they appear to take advantage of them. So be sure that you act on it. And I feel that many of you will because we have that Mars in Aries filling us up with that motivation. Okay, so we have number 37, the third chakra, Archangel Shamuel with the solar plexus. Yeah, you are getting a large dose of confidence and you're going to be speaking very confidently because it's coming from your gut, from the heart. And with confidence, you believe what you are saying and it's going to carry power. Okay, then we have the full moon in Sagittarius on Tuesday, June 14th, and that occurs at 7.52 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, but that moon is going to T-square between that Sagittarius full moon, the Gemini sun, and that Pisces Neptune, which can leave you feeling groggy, and you're going to want to lie low and avoid those passive-aggressive people that all they want to do is argue and wear you down. The worst kind of energy vampire. Uh, so we have 34, 
door to personal healing and happiness. This might be a time for you to lay low and do some personal healing and happiness so that you um, can avoid those negative people trying to drain you. And then on Sunday, June 19th, try to stay focused on romance, which should be easy. It's Father's Day. Um, and here we have uh, a Taurus Venus sextiling that Pisces Neptune. So that can have us daydreaming about love. This can put us in a very dreamy, loving mood, which can enhance this personal healing and happiness and can certainly distract us from those negative passive aggressors. Okay, and then on Monday, June 20th, we have a Pisces moon conjuncting Neptune and Pisces. But that Pisces moon is also going to sextile Uranus in Taurus, Venus in Taurus, and Pluto retrograde in Capricorn. And again, this is going to enhance friendliness, uh, wanting us to go out and socialize. It's that summertime socialization and our communications are heartfelt. So yeah, we're going to be really believing in what we say and it's going to be based in personal healing and happiness. Now this could also be sharing your personal experiences and how you have been doing your own healing and shadow work to find your happiness. And then we have number 29, the world. Okay, this is really nice. Now for some of you, this is recognition. Uh, this can be fame. This could be world recognition, but it could certainly be something on a smaller scale where you're recognized for uh, your confidence and your speaking skills and you're going to be rewarded somehow so let's get into the island time wellness love cards and see what we have going on there We have a nice self-indulgence, focus on self, self-worth, time to heal, shadow work, and self-appreciation. Okay, yeah, this door to personal healing and happiness. Um, so that you can show up in the world, you need to feel like you have worth. You need to be grounded in yourself. And then we have... Not today, not dealing, hurt, avoiding a conversation call or person, boundaries, because you're still angry. It's like, don't mess with me. I'm too pissed off and I'm not going to let you get the better of me that way. Because you know, when people piss you off and you're angry, you've already lost the battle because you've lost your sense of calm. And we have the third chakra here. Keep your calm in your confidence. Calm confidence. And speak with a calm voice. Okay, now let's get in deeper with the tarot. How this is influencing you even more. we have the five of chalices okay five of chalices this leaves you feeling a little melancholy uh, sad uh, grieving about something this might be a great time to journal those feelings so you can get them out and transform them and notice that we still have two candles lit just because some candles are out you still have light in the darkness. 
Next we have the Hermit. Very nice. Notice the Caduce on his staff. Somebody's been doing some deep shadow work. The Hermit brings light into the darkness. This is like that white spot on the dark half of the yin and yang. This is that light, your soul light, that you shine into the darkness of who you are. Here we have that confidence. You're holding your confidence. And notice that his lamp is about at the same height as the solar plexus. Next, we have the Seven of Wands. Yeah, you're setting up your boundaries all right, and you're taking the high road. You are standing your ground. Uh, you're not letting anybody into your circle of your personal healing and happiness. That is for your self-indulgence. That is for your healing. Because you're still healing. And this person here is trying to take advantage of your vulnerability in the worst possible way by trying to anger you and vamp your energies. Oh, nice. The Ace of Chalices for new emotional beginnings. We have the full moon. And that's the full moon in Sagittarius. And that's with that T-square, which leaves you feeling groggy, wanting to avoid those negative people. But you've set up your boundaries here. And part of that self-indulgence is drinking from the Holy Grail of self-healing. Next, we have the Five of Wands. Okay, here's those argumentative people. It is like they are relentless. They know that you're down. And that's when they attack, is when you are feeling melancholy, when you're feeling vulnerable. Um, you're just kind of in your head, and suddenly they come around, and then they say something mean to you. And, you know, the best thing that you can do is just walk away avoid them look here we have the sun okay i think you're gonna do a little bit more than just walk away leo the sun is your ruling planet you are going to shine bright you're gonna blind them with your light and you're going to reflect back to them their behavior leave them with a question what is your need to always turn everything into arguments. What is your need to argue about everything? Uh, and walk away because you already know the answer to that, Leo. It's because they're insecure and they want to bring everybody down to their level of insecurity and not feeling worthy. You already have your boundaries. You have your boundaries here, too. And you're drinking from the healing cup of the Holy Grail. Six of Pentacles. You're going to be rewarded for standing up for yourself, for holding your ground. And this is a material reward with the Six of Pentacles. Because this is a karmic reward. This could also be that one. This could be a work mentor. This could be that best friend that comes in and um, stands with you because, you know, this person is not standing alone. He has his loyal dog and he has his family close to him. And it's his family that he deems worth protecting and he will protect them. And then we have... The Empress, very nice. The archetype of the mother. She is Mother Nature incarnate with this full moon and the Ace of Pentacles and with the Six of Pentacles here as well. Or I mean, the Ace of Cups and the Six of Pentacles. You are being given beautiful healing in nature. This might be a time to take a walk in the woods, to be out in nature to be connected with the world. Okay, now let's look at the moon magic cards because we do have some magic going on in, in this time. Okay, 
Oh, <laughs> I just dropped the cards. Let me reshuffle those again. Let's get the right card. What card does the spirit want us to have? Maybe it'll just fly out. <laughs> okay, let's try this again. Okay, here we go. Here is your card. Looks like somebody dancing beneath the crescent moon. Nice. This would be considered kind of a new moon. So we have the moon goddess Haina. I can guide and lead others wisely and with love. Nice. Very nice. Because we have the hermit and we have this ace of cups. So you are going to be gently guided through your personal healing and happiness here. Okay, let's look at your starlight because we are looking at some beautiful energy with the stars, some big starlight shift. How are they gonna guide us? Because the stars do guide us with their light. It's called astrology. Oh, okay, reevaluate. In the starlit sky, we look for the falling stars. Yeah, the, and those falling stars are what we wish upon. So what is it that you want to wish upon? And this re-evaluate, I get the feeling that this is because we're still in the Mercury retrograde and we have those RE words, re-evaluate. Re-evaluate the situation here, especially with not dealing with people, avoiding a conversation because eventually you're gonna have to talk to that person. And this way you can reevaluate and don't approach them until you're strong in your own space and you have your boundaries clearly uh, picked out. Okay, this card just fell out and I feel like spirit wants it to be seen. So here we also have the full moon. Protect your energy and hold your stars close. Okay, I just felt like that. Spirit really wanted that message to come out as well. Okay, and because we have, we're ending Gemini season with the summer solstice or Midsummer's Eve, a uh, very magical time. And we have that um, Mercury in Taurus trining Pluto in Capricorn, where we could meet that one. Here we have, be open. I am open to new possibilities and I welcome new beginnings. And we have that Ace of Cups, which is a new beginning, a new emotional beginning. Perhaps you are being given the material rewards that you need so that you can have that new beginning. Uh, could be a change of jobs here too. You might be able to um, let go of a job that you don't like and pursue something that is more worth your while, that fills you with self-worth, where you feel like you're doing something in the world. You're making a difference. Okay, now let's draw one last card from the heart and soul. Oh, remember I was talking about the yin and yang. Okay, we have, I come to awaken sleeping hearts. Like a bolt of lightning from the astral world, I appear as inspiration, a dream, or idea. I fill your heart with creative light and illuminate your mind so that the universe and all creation can find a space within your soul. This is a time for dreaming big. The possibilities are endless. Wow, Leo. 
powerful, powerful. You are coming into your own by by doing what feels right for you instead of trying to make everybody else happy instead of trying to be a people pleaser turn that energy around and start pleasing yourself leo because when you're happy your world is happy you feel healed and happy you feel confident and you speak with confidence and with that you bring healing and happiness into the world yourself now for many of you this could be a creative endeavor some of you may be artists because leos do tend to be creative beings they do rule the house of creativity so leo does tend to be very extravagant flamboyant and colorful and artistic so embrace your inner artist and be inspired leo i'm going to end your reading here i hope that it was helpful and beneficial and until next time take care <music>